Hey guys, this is Maffer with another Minecraft video. So I'm here with Mike and Nick. So that's PvP Master Mike 387 and Nick Zulu 3, uh, both of whom are members of One Circus. And as you guys know, I'm a big factions player. And one question I get asked all the time online is how do I join Afro Circus, which is the name of my faction? Typically, right now, I'm saying that you need to have at least four members of Afro Circus. Uh, sponsor you. That is, they need to come to me and say, hey, I'd like to uh, be in your faction. Now, it doesn't mean that you should go find members of Afro Circus and go, please, 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 can you sponsor me? Because uh, we don't allow people, uh, members of Afro Circus, to sponsor people they don't know. In fact, sponsoring someone as a uh, potential member of our faction is the most important thing that a member of Afro Circus can do, because any individual that gets added to the faction is the potentially the person that could bring the faction down. It's so dangerous to add people to a faction because any one of them has access to all the stuff that you've got in your chest. And as you can see here, we're in our F home right now. And we've got lots of chests with all sorts of uh, things in them. And uh, that person could steal or grief or do whatever they wanted to. And so we have to be very, very careful with who we add to the faction. So it's the most important responsibility that a member has is to sponsor or even veto someone because of uh, because they, they have some history with someone. So and if you're going to build history with members of Afro Circus, which is what you need to do first, if you don't know us, you need to build history, then that's really where One Circus comes in. One Circus is, again, our recruiting faction. And so I've got Nick here. He's the current leader of One Circus. And that leadership will probably rotate and change as people move around from One Circus into Afro Circus, that sort of a thing. But Nick, can you tell us a little bit, what do you look for uh, when somebody wants to join One Circus? Well, I typically look for people that are trustable. They don't want to betray the faction. Like, they're just looking for a faction that's kind of like Afro Circus. They want to join a faction that's strategic, does raids, all that. Yeah, they absolutely. They just want to have fun, basically. Yeah, and that brings up some good philosophies uh, about uh, Afro Circus and One Circus and how we play the game. So uh, we do like to raid. We do like to have fun. Uh, we're an aggressive faction. Uh, we don't have any allies, for example. If I do an F who right now uh, on my screen, you can see that the number of allies we have is zero. We have plenty of enemies. And so, um, but but the way we play the game is that we don't use alts, that's alternate accounts, to inside other factions. We don't try to get members of other factions to betray their faction. Um, and we don't do things like uh, TP killing, like trying to trick people into teleporting to us just so that we can kill them. Um, in my personal opinion, I think those make the game less fun. And the reason for that is that what I really like about factions is that it's Minecraft, which is this game of blocks where you can build, uh, you know, crazy little block structures. But in factions, you can end up building a castle and uh, and someone else can end up building a cannon. And so I, I like playing a game of castles and cannons. That's the way I think of it. And uh, so I'm just kind of wandering around the Afro Circus uh, F home right now just because people haven't seen this in quite a while. And so uh, when you're playing castles and cannons... It's, a, it's really a challenge, and the game is about building defenses that someone else is uh, trying to be able to crack, and that they can crack it potentially with a cannon or something like that. It's, it's frankly very easy to, to lie to somebody, uh, to trick somebody, um, to get an alternate account and pretend to be somebody else. And because a lot of players are young people, you know, it's not uncommon for people to be 12, 13, 14 years old playing this game, um, it, it's relatively easy to, to trick and lie to, to kids. And so that's not something that I'm into. I don't think that makes for uh, a good story. Yeah, I lied to this kid, and I got uh, him to add me to his faction, and I betrayed everybody. That's not nearly as cool a thing, in my opinion, as being able to say that I built some awesome cannon that managed to slab bust and then blast through hybrid shots five different you know walls before we were able to get in and, and take all their stuff. So that's what I want to do. Uh, the game is about taking other people's things, but um, and, which is definitely something that we're going to do. But the way we go about it is important to me, and it's important to the members of Afro Circus. Uh, other things to, to talk about is that uh, we're very much a, a faction that shares things. Like you saw those chests that uh, I was uh, mousing over just now, and those chests are faction chests. They contain goods for, for all the different faction members to use, and uh, every, every single member also has the opportunity to have a personal room and things like that. But for reasons that, uh, if you've seen my, uh, my video on uh, how Hitler plays factions, I'll go ahead and put a link up uh, to that video. Uh, I'm not a big fan of everyone having a personal vault or something like that. It just gets to be very expensive in terms of the number of uh, chunks that have to be claimed in order to support all those personal vaults. So I ask when you join Afro Circus that uh, you limit your personal claims. Uh, I don't have any personal claims, for example. And uh, in general, we uh, require that members have no more than two personal claims. So sometimes 
a uh, few members will get together and make their own personal vault. You know, maybe five members will get together and claim, you know, 10 chunks of land or something like that for a personal vault that they share. But, uh, but in general, I, I, I try to avoid that just so that we have uh, plenty of power left over um, for our members to do other things with and for the shared resources like this, uh, this space that we're in right now. So um, every day I have probably, I don't know, Nick, how many times do you see people asking to join Afro Circus in a day? It's, uh, it's, it's crazy. Well, it's kind of increased over the last maybe week and a half. Uh, I think maybe today and yesterday in total, there was about 10 people who asked. Yeah, that's probably about right. I think it's usually for me, and I get a lot of private messages too that aren't on the global chat. So I would say I probably get uh, seven or eight uh, people asking every single day how to join Afro Circus. So it's not like we have, uh, you know, we don't have a hard time finding people. Um, what's a challenge for us is finding the right people. We want people who are mature. They like to, to have fun. Um, you know, we, not to, not to say that we don't be, we're not silly cause, uh, I like to be silly quite a bit, but, um, uh, but at the same time, you got to know when to turn it off and to, uh, to, to be a little bit uh, serious, a little bit respectful of the other people around and that uh, they don't have conflicts with the current members. Other members want them to be around. Um, so those are kind of the, the, the things that we look for. And it doesn't hurt if you uh, actually know how to play the game. If you're interested in joining Afro Circus, uh, please feel free to reach out to me or any of the officers. Uh, if you don't know too many people in Afro Circus, be sure you reach out to Nick Zulu, or you can just do an F Who One Circus. I'll just do that right now on my screen so you can see. Uh, an F Who One Circus will show you who the current leader is. The leader has two stars next to their name. It's currently Nick Zulu 3. Uh, an officer has one star. Currently, uh, PVP Swag co-owner PVP <laughs> Master Mike 387. That's quite a name you got there. Um, yeah. <laughs> and talk to those guys about joining One Circus. Uh, and that's a way for us to uh, to get to know each other, for, for the members of Afro Circus to get to know you, and for you to get to know the members of Afro Circus so that someday you may find sponsors who will uh, say, hey, you know, I really would like you to join Afro Circus, and they're going to come to me and they'll say, hey, I, let's, let's invite this guy and let him join. So uh, okay. thanks, everybody, for watching, and uh, if you enjoy this video, please give it a like, and feel free to subscribe to my channel if you'd like cool tips on games like Minecraft, uh, agar.io, I've, I've been slightly addicted to recently, and uh, other fun stuff. Bye!